I have a lot of students who, when I raise these issues up to them in class, tell me that what can they do? They're just, uh, one, one phrase was, instruments of the corporation. And I actually think it's that somehow we have to all learn to dig deep inside of ourselves and find out where our efficacy is, where our ability to um, take action. It might be something small, like working in your community. Uh, might be working with children, you know, might be with your own. Many of my students um, talk about their own families and doing it with their own families. Um, and I think it's important for all of us to discover something through our work where we feel like we're making a difference. Because I believe that everybody needs to have something meaningful in their lives and in a place where they can make a difference. So how, how people, how I have my students grapple with this question is that I have them write personal vision statements. And um, when they start, many of them say, well, I don't, I don't really have a vision. I don't really have a dream. And then over the course of time, they begin to realize that, yes, in fact, they do have a dream as they struggle with that and, and write it uh, and write out these vision statements. But I, but I think too many people go through life just not really aware of the fact that they can make a difference in the world. So I think um, by telling stories like this, by letting people know that a person who started with basically nothing and struggled for then five or ten years to make an organization work, like a lot of entrepreneurs do, um, made it ultimately ended up making a difference. It, I think it's we got to tell more of these kinds of stories. Um, we have to show paths. We have to instill values that say yes, you can uh, to uh, to people. Yes, you can make a difference.